Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So, in this video, I'll be telling you what is the difference between a list and a tuple in Python. Okay, so a brief explanation like how a tuple and Python works, uh, a list works in Python. Okay, so I'll give you some examples in order to you know, just explain the differences, like whether in terms of syntax or whether in terms of uh, you know how to use them in Python okay and what kind of function you can perform in list as well as tuple okay so let's get started okay so the basic difference between uh, list and tuple in terms of syntaxes okay so if you see the syntax of list is they are represented in a form of a square bracket okay suppose i have a variable as l and i uh, you know initialize it in a form of a list so i have to put it inside a square bracket okay so a list items are enclosed in a square bracket whereas the tuples are enclosed inside the uh, normal brackets the curved brackets or the parentheses okay so suppose there is a variable c and you have to declare a tuple then you have to put it inside a parenthesis or a curve brackets okay so that's the syntax difference okay a basic syntax difference between a list and a tuple okay now next like there is a small example wherein you will be able to understand how a list and a tuple is created in python so suppose i just write list and this is my elements which is there in the list and this is the tuple which elements are there okay these two fine and i'm just printing the list and the tuple okay let's see how it works in directly uh, python okay so here so let me open this off okay now here suppose i just take a variable as l and then i give some values to it so this is basically i'm creating a list okay this is my list this is the way you can create a list and i want to create a tuple as well so i'll just write suppose t and then inside it i write okay this is tuple. Now I just want to print these two. So I'll just write print suppose L and then print T. Okay. Now I just save it off. Fine. And now I want to run it. Okay. So I'll just open uh, my command prompt and inside it first you have to go to the directory wherein your you know file is being saved and after that you can just write python and the file name so my file name is i.py so i just press enter now see these two got printed okay first of all the list and then the tuple now here if i just want to you know print the suppose i remove these two print lines and i just want to print the type okay so i write type okay and that's it and this okay now okay now if you see when I'm using a type um, function over here that means what it, it's actually doing Python is actually giving you like what is the type of the variable L so over here you can clearly see since it's a, inside a square bracket so it's in the form of a list right so same way the output will be class list that means this particular uh, variable l belongs to the class list okay similarly if i change it over here like if i write t so my output will be it belongs to the class of tuple okay so what does this do this actually makes uh, clear to the python that yes you're working with a tuple or you're working with a, um, a list okay now let's move on so next we go to a mutable list versus a immutable list that means that's the second difference between a list and a tuple so what does mutable and immutable means okay mutable and immutable means uh, 
the items which are there in the list or in the tuple can be changed or cannot be changed okay so first of all mutable mutable means it can be changed okay whatever elements are there that can be changed or modified okay fine and immutable means whatever elements are there inside your tuple that cannot be changed or modified so this can be changed or modified this cannot be changed or modified so suppose I have a list created in front of me okay like one two three four are the elements inside it and I just want to delete this particular uh, element okay so in list you can do it but if you have a tuple created okay if you have a, tu a tuple in front of you created okay so let's say I have tuple and I have list inside it uh, elements inside it and I want to delete the last element in that case you cannot do it they cannot be changed they cannot be modified okay that's the second difference between a tuple and a list apart from the syntax differences okay next we move on so here there is a, a code okay which will help you to you know understand the difference between a tuple and a list much more better so let's go to our uh, you know here and then I'll show you so here first of all I have created a list okay so the variable name is my list and then inside that I have some elements that is one two three and then these are some more elements so what we can see over here is we can see like you can put any kind of data type inside the list okay that means I have used numeric as well I have used string as well okay but it should be in an ordered form and it is mutable mutable that means you can change it okay so my list is equal to this that means I have a list created okay now what I want to do I have to uh, I want to add another element to this particular list okay so we know in list we can change or modify the list right so in order to add it what function we will use we just need to use the name of the list that is my underscore list dot append okay dot append means you are just adding the cherry element to this particular list okay that means my final output would be one two three apple banana and then cherry okay now what if if i just want to update the second element of this particular list second element means zero and then one so it starts with zero and then one so i want to update the second element that means this one so i'll write my list and then inside the square bracket one that means the index number one and then i want to update it with orange okay so my final output would be one and then two will be replaced with orange and then three and then apple banana okay now if I want to remove any kind of element for that you have to write my list dot remove and then the index number of that particular element okay now if you see when you want to update an element you are just using these square brackets why because at that point of time we are taking care of an array but once we need to remove any element you can uh, directly use the curved brackets and then put the index number inside it okay now what if if you want to modify any element from this particular list okay I want to modify it so for that you can directly write print and then modify list and then my list okay whatever you list have so that will be modified okay you can add it fine next comes up these were all related to the list okay you can modify it you can change it like you can add to a list you can change the element in a list or you can remove an element in a list or you can modify the list okay next comes up tuple what happens in tuple you create a tuple so here I have created my tuple okay and then inside it there are elements okay now if I want to you know update the tuple which will give me an error so what I'll do I have taken a try block and then catch block okay and inside that I'm trying to modify the first element so here there will be an output like error it will come up because a tuple cannot be modified okay so let's do something I'll just save this off and I'll try to run it in the command prompt and let's check it out how it is working okay so I'll just write python list dot py 
when I write python list.py now if you see the first comes up modified list as one orange apple banana cherry okay so what happens over here it has performed all these functions okay append has been done so if you see the last element is cherry okay remove has been done that means the third element so 0 1 2 3 okay that has been done fine and then next the modified item so modified item is 1 orange that means the first element has been replaced by orange okay so that's our new list and then when we are working with the tuple so here a tuple cannot be modified okay so it's displaying a tuple cannot be modified you cannot perform any kind of modification inside a tuple okay so that was the whole idea explaining uh, how a tuple and how a um, a list works what is the basic differences okay now there is also a size difference in the in the form of list and tuple so what is the size difference so in tuple there is uh, python allocates only a few memory to tuple okay so that means tuple size is very less fine and but in whereas in list the size is more okay it has more number of size it has allocated bigger chunks python has allocated bigger chunks so in terms of memory tuple has less memory whereas list has more memory that means you can as add add as much as elements you want but where in tuple it will it won't accept that much elements okay because it has less memory okay so when you are working with more of data then you can use list at the time when you are working less of data then you can use tuple at that point of time okay and again if you want to modify your data then i prefer using list rather than tuple because you cannot modify your data in tuple okay now the most important things we have learned the differences between the tuple and list in python but what are the similarities now similarities uh, are like they hold both the heterogeneous data types that means they can use uh, we can use uh, you know numeric over there string over there okay multiple data types data types can be used inside a list or a tuple okay they both are in a ordered form okay so that means you have to put your list or a tuple in a ordered form it sh the order should be maintained okay and they both are sequential data structure okay so that means that means we can iterate through the objects they hold that means going from position 1 to position 2 or index 1 to index 2 okay and the index for both tuple and list that comes up inside a square bracket so if you are if you want to extract the index of a particular list then you have to put it inside a square bracket okay now let me show you this so how it's working so let's say sure if I'm directly writing as list and then suppose 3 okay and I put it inside another variable suppose a equal to l of 3 and then I try to print a okay now if I try to save this and run it in from the command line okay so I write python and then okay now you see the output is 5 displayed over here so what's happening so here what it did it actually printed or the index value okay that means this index value is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 for the list okay so l of 3 that means whenever you want to access the index whether it's in python whether it's um, you know python list or whether it's in tuple you have to use these square brackets for it okay that's the similarity it's not like you're working in tuple so you have to use a curve bracket for you know accessing the index you cannot do that okay so that was it guys uh, hope you like this video if you did please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and share it as much as you can with your friends and colleagues and stay tuned for another interesting video on coding and do comment down if you have any queries thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe thank you